Hello, welcome to Parametric House. In this bar course lesson, we want to uh, make a parametric pattern by defining a series of points. And uh, you can see by changing this, I can change the final pattern. Uh, we are also going to give it some thickness. We can also make it in a polyline or a curve and finally give it some thickness, which I'm going to explain in this tutorial. And at the end, we can have these uh, borders and windows as an output and use them uh, in our projects. Okay, let's get started. Uh, to get started from scratch, what I want to do is to go to the uh, Parakit uh, plugin. And for this tutorial, I've chosen this uh, Escher tiling and this uh, tree lateral A. You can use other patterns, but to make it easy as possible, I'm going to focus on this pattern. Because I want to uh, draw these curves into another plane, I'm going to define an XZ plane instead of the default one, which is XY. So we're going to give this an XZ plane. The most important input we have to give is this curves. Uh, to make this curve uh, parametric, I want to go to the curve input and use this interpolate component. It's really easy to use. We can give it to the curve and we just have to define some vertices. So I'm going to just extract this and let's go to the front view and just draw a series of points, set multiple points. And now you can see that I can make a simple parametric curve by using this component. Uh, we can also define a degree, which is obviously between one and three. Uh, the reason is like one is, let me just delete the title. Uh, the reason is that one means a polyline and we can double click this and use an odd output. The odd uh, output is going to give us uh, one or three and not like two, okay? So I'm going to see that it's odd and give it to the degrees. And you can see that I can switch between one and three easily. Now that we have this, let's zoom in and you can see this pattern is emerging. Uh, let's just make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just increase the size. Okay, so you can see how easy it is. And the number of X and Y is like easy to choose. We can say from one to 10 and give it to the X and Y input. You can see that the base pattern is like this and I can increase the number X and number of Y. Okay, that's it. Uh, now that we have this, uh, we can switch between a polyline and a nerves. And let's just put this like here. And we can also control it easily by changing the points location. Uh, after doing that, what I want to do is to play with these curves and give them some thickness. Uh, let me just put this into a curve and turn this off. Okay, if I bake this curve, uh, you can see that this is completely a boundary. Uh, what I want to do is to give it a, a thickness. So I'm going to go to the curve and use this offset uh, curve to give it some thickness. And uh, this is going to make it a little bit slow. Because we want to switch between thickness and pattern because uh, the pattern is obviously faster. Uh, I'm going to put a switch between here, which is really a good technique when you want to switch between thickness and curve. Uh, from the set menu, from the sequence, I'm going to use a call pattern tool. Uh, the call pattern is going to help you to simply by giving a true and false to the call pattern, which you can use a toggle. Uh, you can actually, let's just turn this off. You can actually uh, use it. Uh, this is actually a gateway to say, uh, send it to the thickness or not. Okay. So what I want to do here as uh, I can put the title thickness and here we go. We can just say true or false. Now that I have this uh, offset as you uh, as you see it's going to go inwards so I have to bring it outwards uh, what I want to do is to give this a minus in the distance expression minus x and you can see it's a little bit slow and also a number slider so maybe start from 0 0.3 to 2 and this is going to be the thickness we can we can give this to the number slider, uh, to the distance input, and maybe just increase that to two, okay? 
uh, turn off the output and, and now you can see that we have the base pattern but what about the borders the uh, most important thing is how to make the border uh, a good technique is to connect all of these together especially the curves that we have here what I found is going to help you to get the uh, borders at the the outer borders or the naked uh, borders is to connect a surface to that so it's going to convert that into a surface then I have to go to the surface and join them together so I have to join them all to simply make one B rep here and then with uh, turn this off by going to the analyzes B rep edges I can connect it to here and if I connect a curve to the naked you can see that this is going to be exactly the border we need we can turn this off and now you can see that we have the border okay we have to also give another offset to this border and the distance uh, you can see that this is like 38 curves so uh, that is why we have some problems here it's offsetting in different ways so we have to join it before we can offset it. so we have to go to join curves and then offset that okay uh, the distance has to be the same as the number we gave here and now you can see that we have the same thickness easily change it to 0 1.5 and now we have uh, the border also with this uh, inner curves okay now what we have to do is to go to the surface and use this boundary surfaces remember to flatten this because we have to put all of these curves into one surface so I'm going to use the shift key to add them up and now we have the border uh, we can also connect a surface container to the offset curves and now we are good to go we have the borders and the windows uh, now before we want to change this uh, pattern and get the final results because it's a little bit slow and if you want to know uh, which component is consuming the most of the computation you can go to display canvas widget and use this profiler and you can see that this offset is like seven seconds really slow uh, what I want to do here is to give this thickness to false and now you can see that we can't see anything so I'm going to just copy this down turn it on and in the call pattern I'm going to invert the uh, boolean so what's going to happen is that when I put it to false this one is going to not give it to the output so nothing is going to go for the thickness part but for the curves we can simply see it in the second call pattern so you can always use this technique a call pattern with a false for not giving it out and a true for seeing it if it's not having a thickness now we can play with the inputs so for example I can put that to a one I can also change this we can even make like three points if we want to and after we know that this is the pattern we want maybe increase the number of Y's we simply hit on the thickness this is going to turn off because we don't have it, anything as an output but this one is going to go to the algorithm and now we can just bake this into layer one and bake this into layer two and that's it that's how you can use this small technique to give a thickness uh, to the curves uh, I've used in from the Parkit plugin. Uh, I hope this tutorial was useful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask below this lesson and see you next time. Bye.